Freeway has an open class with sixth graders coming up on Monday. She decided yesterday that she wanted to try to film something with me. So we had the PE teacher film it, and then Jue and I were acting in it. It took me some time to memorize some things. We got some bloopers, which was fun. Today's Wednesday, November 1st. It's 11, 13 p.m. So today was a special day because we went to an English library and honestly, it was so much fun. And it was a really cool experience to go like with the kids. We went with nine students. We were missing one student at one point and today in Dongari, which is the English club activity, um, was like falling asleep in the class and she's normally not like that. So today when she was missing and we couldn't find her and even the teacher couldn't find her in the library, I was like, you know what? Like maybe she's asleep somewhere in there. We just don't see her. And that's actually what happened. Like she was asleep like that whole time. She was sitting in one of the study chairs or whatever. So thank goodness, like she didn't like go out and get lost and stuff because we we're kind of stressing about that. But anyways, we went to the library. The students took an English literacy test to find out what their levels were. The level starts at 100 and then you can go all the way up to 1000. If you get zero, they have to go to the um, children's book room. The books are really easy there. He was really good at English. He got 444 and then the student right above him who's been living in America for a really long time. He got 740, which I think is typical for someone his age. He basically speaks natural English. It was really interesting. It was so much fun just to have like an outside of school experience with the kids and be able to talk to them in English. And it was like mixed English and Korean, but I felt like we actually developed a, a bond. And I kind of wish we did more things like this. And the fact that it was a small group, I got to actually like have moments with each person. I think I got to have some time, except for maybe because she was like sleepy, but I, I kind of got private time with everybody and it was just a lot of fun and honestly it was definitely a moment that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my time in Korea maybe even for the rest of my life. So this picture comes with a funny story so at one point during the field trip we all kind of separated all the students after getting their scores for their literacy tests they were tasked with going to find books that match their reading ability and you know just kind of explore the library get a feel for what it provides for them. The students were given time to basically sit down with books and practice reading and figure out if they want to get a library card and things like that. As the students were kind of separating and going about their way throughout the library, I was spending quality time with individual students. We didn't get a lot of pictures that day, but um, this picture specifically is kind of a funny story because the two girls that I'm with pulled me to the side and they were like, hey, we want you to read this book. And they picked up like some random book. I have no idea what it was. I was like, okay. So I just started reading it to them. At first the book was okay, but then I came across the word crap. <laughs> And I'm sitting here reading it to them out loud and they're like so intrigued by these words that I'm saying. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, that's not a good word. They're like, what is it? What, what's the word? I translated it in Korean as like just trash. I told them, I was like, oh, you know, it's like, it's sunaki, it's trash. And they were like, no, but what's the word that's in the book? We want to know the word. And I'm like, no, it's okay. You don't need to know. It's fine. You, you know, cause I don't want you to repeat it. And they were like, no, we want to know what the word is. And I was like, the end. And I like closed the book. And then the rest of the trip they were like nagging me like teacher sunegi what is sunegi like tell us in english and i was like no i'm glad that this trip was as memorable for them as it was for me because i kid you not the entire rest of the school year every time they would see me they would ask me teacher what is sunegi in english <laughs> They're still trying to figure out this word. But yeah, that was just one of the moments that really stood out to me. Clearly it stood out to them too. <laughs> but yeah, so that was kind of a funny story. After that, we ended up going to Subway, which was a lot of their first times having it, except for who again, has already had a lot in Samoa. So, and they really enjoyed it. It got a little bit stressful when it came to ordering and the people were so nice up until one of the students didn't order and we thought that she did. I even asked her in Korea, I was like, did you order? And she said, yes, turns out she didn't. And so the one of the workers kind of got like a little bit of an attitude and I feel bad because I'm like, you know, they're just kids like 
they're gonna make mistakes, but it was, it's a small place and it was really busy, so I understand like the stress, but yeah, so it was a little crazy. I think we left around two o'clock and then we were all together until about 6.30, maybe almost seven. It just made the day go by really fast and by the time I got home, I was actually tired and I was like, oh, this is what it feels like to actually like do something with your day. This is the future. Children all on their phones. <laughs> Except for him. All on their phones. <laughs> So today's video is going to be hopefully interesting. I finally received my package. I should know what's in here, but whenever my mom sends me stuff, she always throws in some surprises. So this is the iPhone 10. It's actually not sealed. I guess I should explain that. This screen is huge. <gasps> I am in love. Look at that. It just came out, set up new iPhone. Oh, what is happening? I'm just gonna set up Face ID, which is one of the hallmark features of the iPhone 10. And I want to send my sister an emoji, so. 